What's going on guys? Here we are, back out. Dave is currently just vacuuming up some of the stuff underneath, uh, like sawdust and whatnot. So if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. But uh, I'm just going to show you some stuff that we got done, or that Dave got done uh, while we were too busy to come over. Uh, both of us just ended up getting busy. I mean, it's just kind of how life goes, really. So as um, soon as he's done vacuuming, I'll take the phone over there and kind of show you what he's got done. See, he got those boards that we got done the last time, he ended up carpeting. And you know what? I can show you this stuff. Uh, so after he got that stuff carpeted, he got it inside. And uh, everything fits beautifully. He had to shave off a lot on the one side piece there to get everything to fix after carpeting it just didn't want to didn't want to work all that well but got this stuff done so this is the final board to go into the bottom of the boat and then this is our steering column so this looks really good he cut out a uh, gauge switch here steering wheel and then another gear uh switches then this is all epoxied from what it seems, which is really good. Uh, this board looks freaking really nice, but if you can tell like it rained uh, and it did this stuff again, which to be fair, I'm sorry. I really like the way that it looks like when it's like that. Um, and then this has some really nice, ah, uh, I just forget how much I love that board, but yeah. So those are done. We'll probably, get that one uh, board carpeted and ready to be installed what after he's done here uh, news uh, I or some news I ended up getting a van recently so I can hopefully tow the boat uh, it's a Dodge caravan uh, hopefully uh, it's able to tow the boat it should it's just it doesn't have a hitch or anything on it uh, which I have to kind of talk to Dave about some people have been telling me that you need, uh, if it doesn't have the right bar underneath, one has to be welded up in, and then it ups the cost of getting a, a hitch onto the vehicle. And then, I don't know if it's true or not, but my dad said I may want a transmission cooler for towing. Uh, it's a 2019, and it has like 120,000 miles on it. Uh, so I don't know, I don't know if I, if I want that or not. I mean, I probably should just for the fact that it has that much mileage and it's never towed before so it's kind of a kind of a up in the air type of deal but once my dave's done i'll show you what we're doing and what we plan on doing for today and thank you all for staying tuned i know this video is going to be a little bit later than what i was kind of putting out but life just got busy and i'll give you all an update uh, as soon as we're done uh, well done with the vacuuming Get you in a few. A little late to the party. Sorry, guys. All right, so this is what we're doing. So Dave is getting ready to attach our steering dashboard here. And then we cut up this foam here to put on top of here. So it'll go from here all the way back to the, cover the back side of this. So that way, when, I, when we put my windshield on, and I touch this stuff, it isn't burning my hands or anything, or anyone's hands, really. But cleaned up pretty nice. But uh, here, let me show you this. So these are the boards that we that we did here. Uh, I epoxied all three of these boards along the side of here. Obviously, this one is currently out. But Dave went and did the carpeting and then also the reflected panels on the bottom which is basically just basically they were just packaging it's like you know the like the bubble wrap packagings for uh that people just send mail in to help protect stuff yeah we just took those cut them cut them down and then we just put on the back side uh it's in one of the uh, uh later or earlier episodes that i have posted on the channel if you guys are interested uh go and take a look at doing the car i think i called it carpet time um but yeah so that's where we're currently at um so it's we're going to attach that first i believe yep. 
Then we'll put the board on next and we're going to use this little guy to help as it's for carpets. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this here and I'll show you what it looks like once when we have it attached because I think Dave needs my help. See you in a minute. All right, and here we got it. We got this all attached. And then it comes down over here. Like I said, we got the board back in here. And it's really nice and tight up against this. So it shouldn't peel or anything. But it looks really nice, it feels good too. Now we just got done drilling some holes right here along this top here so we can attach the dashboard that's over there. I think we're attaching it now, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we're gonna attach it now. I'll show you what it looks like once when we have that attached. I just wanted to show you what we did here. All right, what it looks like, uh, Dave just, as you saw, Dave just finished uh, with a one bolt there, uh, attaching what will soon be a wheel. Uh, that is the, oh, can't really see it, sorry, it went out of focus. That piece there, the one piece that's standing next, or sitting next to the Taco Bell cup, that is the, well, steering column, technically? Yeah. All right. That's what we're going to call the steering column. Probably not what it's actually like, called, but. Like your steering box, or. Steering box, there we go. That sounds more correct. Uh, but now, so we just, that'll go into the one center hole there where the, uh, that one's uh, fitting is that he just got done bolting in. Let's get a little closer here. All right, so we got gauges, steering wheel, and then final set of gauges here. Then we went ahead and it's all attached up in here now. Then we put some caulking silicone caulking around each side so it's all nice and protected because we didn't epoxy the other side of this which i'm happy with because it should be fine either way so it should be out of the uh out of the weather but uh we ended up drilling another hole and this kind of bunched up on us here but whoop, well i probably shouldn't have done that but Oh well, I did. Well, it's just a top layer. There's still more epoxy underneath, so we're not too not too worried about it. But all right, guys, there we have it. A uh, small little quick video. I know this video isn't too long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and release another video after this of uh, the barbecuing stuff that I did. Uh, fair warning, it's not gonna be finished. Uh, we kind of ate everything after the fact. Uh, cause everyone showed up. It was Father's Day. Uh, I decided to smoke or, or all the meat and whatnot. And, uh, we kind of just sat down and ate because I was hungry. I didn't have anything for lunch and everything smelled good. And we just kind of devoured it. Uh, so I'll at least show you some of the practice. You know what? I'm actually just going to add it in, uh, after this. So you guys can have kind of like a two for, you'll have boat and then smoking meat. Uh, so I might be a little repetitive in that and saying Father's Day a lot. Fair warning. Uh, but thank you all for watching uh, the boat content, and then stay tuned for uh, barbecuing. What's going on YouTube? Uh, so, got a little bit of a different type of uh, video for you guys today. Uh, it's something I have never done before, but I thought I would bring you along with the process, because why not, right? Alright, so here we have my Father's Day present, a nice little Pit Boss pellet grill here. And for Father's Day... Uh, since I got this a little earlier, I am doing some ribs and a chuck roast. I've never smoked before, so this is my first rendition of trying this. I looked stuff up, and so far, uh, I think I'm doing fine. So this is some hickory pellets, because I like the taste of hickory. Let's go ahead and shut this. Uh, and then I got some apple cider vinegar in a uh, Windex bottle. Uh, my wife cleaned that out really well. 
shouldn't be any issues. But uh, I used uh, some kinder uh, seasonings, which I have real quick, and I'll show you that stuff because why not? Really need to spray that door with WD 40. Haven't done it yet. Uh, but all right, so I'm using this stuff. So I looked up online, and this is one of the, I guess, quote unquote preferred brands to use is Kinders. So I got one rib with, uh, with this, the butter, garlic, and herb. Buttery Steakhouse is on the, uh, on the truck roast. And then just, uh, all purpose, I decided I would get these out and see which ones we like. Uh, I mean, we might as well. I've never smoked before either, but I started this at technically 6 a.m. Uh, I would have showed the process of doing everything, but I, uh, was still kind of waking up, so I didn't want to do anything like that. Uh, so I scored the bones on the uh, ribs and then just coated everything very nicely and I'll show you what it looks like as we go, I guess. I'm um, doing every hour, uh, just spritzing it with the apple cider vinegar. So who knows? Uh, hopefully everything turns out good and Happy Father's Day to all y'all. Uh, it's going to be a little bit late, but I hope everyone's uh, Father's Day was nice. And let me know what you guys think of the ribs as soon as we're done. All right. Here we are, guys. It's about midway point. I'm going to take these off. I'm doing the three, two, one method, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but let's take a look to see what they look like right now. So... Sorry, that's my wife yelling at my daughter. Ooh, but look at these. These are looking really good. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get these off. And uh, wrapped in some tin foil. I got some barbecue that I'm putting on the here that has the all-purpose on it. Because I figure, I guess, might as well. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm figuring it out. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done over here. All right, so I forgot to show you the ribs when I was wrapping it up, but oh my God, this smells incredible. I wish you guys could smell this, really. It's really good and I'm really excited. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and put it back on the grill. I know probably a lot of people know how to grill, uh, but this is exciting for me. Uh, so I don't know how long this video is going to be I'm um, just kind of showing you guys everything what it looks like, so hopefully it turns out good. Hey guys, so uh, I had a little bit of a mishap. Uh, I didn't get to show you guys what it looked like when everything was done. Uh, hopefully everything that you see in the video is fine. Um, I don't have pictures of it either to insert or anything, but um, I plan on smoking again, and I'll probably do a better job. Uh, with that one, or who knows, I might just scrap all this. Uh, but yeah, everything turned out great. Um, I learned a few things that I did wrong and kind of what to do better next time. So thank you all for watching. Hope all you dads out there had a wonderful Father's Day and catch you in the next video.